So good I got yeah. Cran Grape. I'm at my brother's house, my fraternity brother's house. That's where I stay when I'm in, the, you know, on the city when I'm not in South Africa, whatever have you. I mean, right now my house is over. It doesn't matter. The point is, he did have a some sort of peach cran drink, right? I wasn't, I wasn't into that at all. But cran grape, you know. Remember, I remember when Ocean Spray started with they just had cranberries, but now they had grape cran grape. Because remember, when you're young, what what do we like? We like grape juice, or we like grape soda. And that's a big thing. What's in here? Ingredients, filtered water, grape juice, water, grape juice, concentrate. There you go, sugar. Sugar, cranberry juice, cranberry juice, concentrate. And some sort of acid stuff and blah, 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 blah. But there you go. Every time you see from concentrate, you don't want to mess with that stuff. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on. There you go. Hey, but, hey I've got to put, so this is a, so I like cran grape. Why? Because it brings me back to my childhood when I like grape juice or the grape soda. Actually, I like cream soda. Cream soda was my, oh, I, I had water in here already. Oh, what the heck? I just watered down the watered down grape juice. I've been drinking water. I totally forgot I had water in that glass. Well, there you go. Oh, let me add, let me add my cranberry to it. Cranberry country. I had this for over a month, man, this stuff. I, that's what I would suggest you do. Get your stuff, your concentrate that doesn't have anything in it. Then add your own water. You don't have to put no sugar with it, nothing like that. This is my pomegranate. Pomegranate is supposed to be for blood pressure. In fact, I've been taking, you know, well, I did anyway. I always take my um, blood pressure pills in the morning. And lo and behold, you know, because I got a blood pressure cuff. Let me tell you what happened. I told you before. Let me tell you again. So I'm stuck in New York. <laughs> I'm stuck in the state because South Africa didn't close their borders or whatever have you. In fact, South Africa, wow. Hmm. I got to check this out from other, from other sources. But my associate in Zimbabwe was saying that it's, at some places you actually have to have a written permission, like like the past laws back in the old, the bad old days of apartheid, to go, say, from Zimbabwe, some, I don't know, Say from I don't know Alice to King or I don't know I can't, I can't say say well Dumbaza to Alice whether Dumbaza yeah Dumbaza to I don't know say King it's only ten minutes away you got to have you know something saying that you know why are you going there like that it's like past laws you know so that's kind of interesting that we all be subject to past laws there's places in the United States what happens we they 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 open this beach over here so the people from the other states run to that state to go to the beach and then other people from that state don't want those people to come into the state. Hey, you got a license plate. Wow. <laughs> Who knows what happened with, with smartphones? Hey man, they might have a thing where on a smartphone, you know, they have you know, your, all your stuff is in your phone or a chip in your body, you know, a nano thing running through your body or something like that. They say, Hey, you don't belong here. You're a New Yorker. <laughs> What are you doing in South Africa? Or you're a New Yorker. Mm, mm. This is the wrong thing. B12. That's second. <laughs> what oh, just messed up? Let me see what happened. Mm. Wait. See, at night, I take a, a, a an aspirin, you know, chewable aspirin, a little aspirin, for because it's supposed to be, you know, it's a blood thinner. Old people are supposed to take that so you don't get no heart attack, whatever have you. So it's pink. So when I open this thing and talk to you, I lost my chair in concert. Open this thing, I'm thinking little little pink thing. Actually, you know, so I started chewing this right away. You're not supposed to chew it. To... Anyway, that's not the point. So what was I saying? Hmm. Not bad. So hey, pretty soon we all gonna be in the bad old days of apartheid. <laughs> gonna be pass laws to go one place or another. You know, it's funny, 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 funny. Okay, that's not what I want to talk about today. Let me go to my. Actually, see, unbeknownst to you, I actually take notes all the time. And and some notes I talk about in these little commentaries. Sometimes I bring up a subject, sometimes I don't. And I have some um, some notes here. I'm not going to... Doctors are slaves um, to their slivers. Doctors are slaves to their slivers. That's, that, that means something. But basically, it, no, but... but Hey, you think a doctor's all high fluting, but you know, they're a slave to a bunch of things. You know what I mean? They're slave to their slithers. This means that they, they have their little expertise, their little slither of expertise, and that's what they know. 
They don't know nothing else, even though they got things as doctor. And most of them are pill pictures. I want to get to that. That's for another comment. It's another thing. Hey, oh, be careful what you wish for. Uh, what's this? Apartheid system. I just talked about that. Uh, um, the Coming Plague. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, that's a good one. The Coming Plague. The Coming Plague is a book by Laurie Garrett that I read a long, long, long time ago before anybody knew anything about it, whatever happened. And basically, it was about the the, the, the germ. Basically, what it's about is that like the human beings do will do anything to defeat themselves. <laughs> I guess that's how you put it. I don't know how to put it. But you know, it was it it, it was it's a really good book. Um, but you should try to read it if you can. The Coming Plague is really good, Laurie Garrett, and uh, it reads like a novel. You know, so it's really good. Anyway, but here's what I want to say: Careful what you wish for. That was really the subject of my little commentary today. My eight deals commentary today. Exactly. Be careful what you wish for. You say you want this, you stay one. And usually when you get it, it's not what you want. It's not what you want at all. Therein lies the problem. You know, we got a lot of people who are wishing for stuff, but what they get, either they get the, the alterated version. This alterated version is, 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 is what the, the masters, you know, the people that control everything want you to do. And so you do that. And that's not what you want. You, you want your own version. You know, but even if you want your own version, sometimes that's not good either. No, it's not. Look, let me explain. I'm not gonna. I'm making it short. I think I'm making it short. Right? Let me give you a. Okay, let me give you some, some out of my past. Okay, here we go. When I was in the Air Force, I was a lab technician, and but it was a different kind of. Hey, well, I was a lab technician, right? But I was also an activist in the Air Force. I would do. I would get into a whole lot of things, a lot of political stuff, off the base, all kinds of all kinds of stuff happened, right? But when I got out the Air Force, um, and actually, um, 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 I was very because it was the age of Agent Orange. People didn't know about. It. I was a lab technician, so I knew about Agent Orange. But most people, the, the military wasn't doing anything about it. Nobody was talking about it. So when I got to my, um, uh, when I got the Air Force, then it was like, uh, yeah, I got out right away. When I got my radio program uh, at, at um, uh, the um, WRSU, the, the radio station, the broadcast station at Rutgers University, um, um, when I got my radio program, uh, one of the things I did, we could do PSAs. We could make our own PSA. So I did a PSA on Agent Orange. Yeah, you know I mean, remember there was no funding for it. I just did it because that's um, I was um, you know, that's the way I was. Um, and a bunch of other things, you know, but this before, remember, this was still, we didn't have no voluntary military and anything like that. This was still people being, still being conscripted, 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 you know what I mean? So, um, so we didn't have any of that stuff. Uh, but you can tell, but you could tell that, hey, when things are going wrong, you could tell right away that things were going wrong. But anyway, so we allowed, we said, okay, fine, you know, the war's over, not the war's over, but you know. Things that happening, da 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 da. Uh, but then the military started saying, "Well, we'll have a, um, a a it'll be a voluntary military. We'll pay the people, right?" Now they started getting people because of. And at the, remember, at the same time that they wanted to start paying for a voluntary uh, for a, um, a voluntary military. At the same time, we're talking about the mid seventies now. At the same time, this is when the, when we were off the gold standard and the, and the um and then the system started as far as monetarily started to collapse. So people were getting more desperate. So they would go. You see, it's really kind of interesting. I always think that there's somebody behind. There's some brain behind this stuff doing stuff. But anyway. So one one of the things we were saying was you know well the corporations should help us you know to help me with this or that and so people went to try to get the corporations to do stuff for them well guess what now we're in that problem we wish for the corporations to help us out in this we wish for this we wish for that we wanted this we wanted that and we went toward that and it, it's no it wasn't good and it's still not good you know they could again they control everything they could they still control everything. So don't, I mean, and then you want stuff, but you can't get the stuff that you want. They, they give you what they want to give you. You don't have a choice, you know? Mm. Anyway, I'm just rambling about stuff. I just want you to know, look, and this time, be careful what you wish for. Be concise in what you wish for. Know, know what you want. And don't listen to these outside forces, please, you know? Uh, but above all, I say, be safe, be 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 healthy. You know, I'm, I'm, I walk. Well, I have a little a little mask that I wear. But here's funny. Last observation. Here's what I say: Be careful what you wish for. 
last observation. This is so funny. Uh, you know, I still go out. Right now it's a sunny day, so I'll go out on a sunny day. Yesterday was rainy, so I didn't go out. I was sequestered in my other place. So now I have to, it's rest sunny. I said, okay, I'll walk across town. I'll sit in the park, you know, get some sun, get some sun, get some sun, get my vitamin D. Right? Even though I take pills for vitamin D, I just get one more vitamin D. But here's what I observe when I'm walking, right? Because I got to walk from basically from the west side. You don't know Manhattan. It doesn't from Broadway to, to, to Madison Avenue, right? And all in between, right? And by like 116th Street area, you know, down to Hunt Basically, Hunt 106th Street, somewhere right there, Hunt 7th Street, all the way, um, uh, you know, meandering all the way to uh, get Hunt 24th Street in Madison Avenue. Okay, we're just going to stay on this side. Okay. Here's the funny thing. When I'm walking, and let's say densely, say, let's call it black areas, I don't know, you know, downtrodden areas. You know, I'm walking, people, people just walking, they're doing their thing, you know, they, da, 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 they just social distancing, da, da, da. But when I walk on the Upper West Side, right, when I pass by white people, especially, they make this huge swath. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about this, told you this, this, they walk, they really avoid you. It's, it's very interesting. It's an unbelievable dynamic. I'm so glad I got to see this stuff, you know, because it's just, it's just so funny to me. Anyway, I just, let me stop right there. Me being, uh, I want to stop. I being me, T from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect during this pandemic. <laughs>